Hey folks, welcome back to the show. Today I'm doing a quick walkthrough of Adobe Spark. Spark is a new-ish web-based program from Adobe that allows you to quickly and easily design all of your social media graphics. They have a bunch of really well-designed templates that you can easily edit, and it's kind of like Canva in that, in that sense, um, if you've ever used Canva. Right now, I'm in a free version, so you'll notice that I'm getting some prompts to upgrade, and some of the templates will be marked premium. So there's a little badge that if I tried to use one of those, I would, again, be prompted to upgrade. Same thing with the watermark if you tried to delete that. Uh, I'll show you around the editing just a bit. So text editing is super easy. You're not actually editing it in, uh, in context, but it does um, kind of like respect the line breaks that you put in and it, you know, it's pretty straightforward. You, you also have a lot of flexibility across the board. So you can change the fonts, you can change the layout, you can change the colors. Um, but my recommendation would be to stick as close to the default template as possible because it's really easy with all of these kind of like variation choices, it's really easy to get something that looks hideous pretty quickly. So my recommendation would be, you know, stick stick with the, with the designs that they provide. It's just a lot easier and you will not be <laughs> making a thousand different versions. Another thing to note is that a lot of these apps rely heavily on like beautiful imagery. So don't be disappointed if like when you plop in just a random image from your phone, like the whole thing looks like shit. I would definitely recommend either using the professional photos that they provide if that works for your use case. Um, if not, if it's not, like if you're um, making something for like a product that you designed or like, you know, putting in a selfie or something, I would recommend spending some time on the photos. And you can even like pick pick out one of these layouts first and then take the photo like so that it fits appropriately like in the, in the layout. Um, a couple of other things just, just to note in this walkthrough is that the color, changing colors is a little, it, it, the, it takes a little getting used to. So for example, um, you, you can select an element. So this is kind of the background and I can choose to like go ahead and just, you know, change that background color. But there's also a concept of a color scheme. And that is, um, you know, what, what's behind this, this color um, menu item changes dynamically depending on what's selected in the canvas area. So if I went ahead and went into this color, uh, you know, color scheme, um, this is the new color I believe that I just created for the background. So anywhere that that appears, if I wanted to change it, um, you know, you, it, would, it would change globally. So you just have to, you know, um, be aware that, be aware of like in what context you're, you're making the color swap from. And this, like this blue background is actually part of the text box. So I was like, I had a little trouble figuring out how to change that at first, but you know, eventually you figure it out. Um, so now, now when I hit color, you'll notice that the color is uh, referring to the text itself. And I can go ahead and, and change that, um, change the background. I'm just doing like, some random stuff here. And you can also like, it's, you know, it's kind of cool to do like this color shuffle, like which, uh, it, that, you know, that's only swapping between two different colors, but you can also do the co color shuffle like on the theme, which, you know, you can quickly kind of see, like, get an idea of, like, how different lights and darks would look. Um, other things, let's see. So the other thing that takes some getting used to is the difference between variations on a template and templates themselves. So a variation on a template, which is behind design, is almost like a new template. But the only thing that, it, like, it's going to, these look totally different. But the, the, the key difference is that you're keeping the same amount of elements. So this is like, I'd say, I don't know, maybe it's two text boxes and three images. When you do the, the template variations, it's gonna stick with that um, and carry over any content that you added. So if I replace this image here, let's say with like something that a photo that I took, um, it'll, it'll default you to the professional photos, but if you do hit this back arrow, 
it, there's a bunch of other image sources that you can choose from. So I'll just upload one that I took yesterday. I think like maybe this microphone or something. It takes a little while and it'll, you can, um, you can kind of move this around. You have like full flexibility. Um, and if you, you know, choose a different variation, that your, your custom content is going to carry over. The difference with switching templates is that anything that you added is not going to carry over. So for example, if I choose this template, um, I don't lose what I created before. It saves it as another project, but it doesn't carry over to this new template. So that's just something to get a little bit used to. Um, what else? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Once you're done with your design, you can you know, easily download it. Uh, if I go back to, let's just say, okay, test, pick. Um, yeah, and it, it um, you know, resizes text dynamically, dynamically, which is really nice as well. So now I have this project saved. I can name it. I can say, um, you know, test project or whatnot. And that's all good to go. So now when I go back to my projects, you'll see the, the other one that, that I've been working on before is right here. So you'll end up, like, as you change templates, you'll end up with, like, a bunch of projects in your gallery. These are just some test ones that I was doing before. Um, so yeah, I would definitely, you know, I think it's super easy. Like, it has some really nice designs. Key advice, have nice pictures and don't stray too far from the template. Next time, I am really excited to try out some of their video options. Like, I noticed they have this explainer video, which is like super meta, but it would have maybe been cool to use for this demo. I will definitely um, check that out soon and report back. So that's all for now. Adobe Spark, check it out.